Hello children. So once again I am here with a new video for you all. And uh, this video is based on another important cash crop that is grown in India. As you all know that in the earlier video we had discussed about the sugar cane that is the most important cash crop grown in India. Okay. So now the next cash crop we have to discuss here is the oil seed right in India if you see you will find a number of oil seeds are grown in different parts now as we start with this topic I must remind you once again that um, please do share the link of this video with your friends and classmates and uh, also subscribe the channel and as you subscribe the channel don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get further notifications regarding any video if it is uploaded in this channel you will get the information about it so let's continue with it now oil seeds now first of all what is the meaning of oil seed and uh, what are the different oil seeds that are grown in india if you see here oil seeds basically are um, a type of crop which are grown and the main purpose for it is the seeds of it are used to extract oil and uh, you will find a variety of oil seeds are grown all over the country in different parts according to the conditions what are required for the different oil seeds these are grown differently in various parts of India oil seeds first of all the oil which is extracted from the these oil seeds are basically used in different ways okay number one you can say it is basically uh, used as an industrial raw material right many of the seeds give the oil which is used as an important raw material in the manufacture of paints right varnishes then hydrogenated oil soaps then uh, uh, you can say lubricants and all then vegetable oils are uh, produced from the seeds of groundnut then mustard sesame then uh, sunflower etc then um, soya bean oil is also well known as an uh, edible oil besides this if you see uh, these oils uh, oil of all these uh, oil seeds are also used as uh, uh, an important cooking medium right all over the country then besides this you will find a few such uh, oil seeds are there the oil of which is not considered as edible right that is these are called as um, non edible oil and especially the best example one of the best example you can take that of the castor seed the castor oil which is taken out from it that is considered as totally non edible and so its main use is not in the uh, industries related to the food items or as a cooking medium or any such eatables it is basically used in the industrial purpose right now besides this one more important use of one of the extract of the these oil seeds is there and it is actually called oil cake now what is oil cake oil cake is basically the residue okay the residue left after the extraction of oil okay once the oil has been extracted from the oil seed now the left out material the residue which is left after that that is actually called as oil cake right and this oil cake works as an important fodder for the animals especially for the cattle and all so these are the main uh, uses of all these different oils which we get from the different oil seeds besides that you can say um, the linseed oil is also very very good for health so in this way you will find different uses are there of all these different uh, oil what we get from the different oil seeds now let us start with two main oil seeds which we need to discuss here this year you are going to have these two oil seeds in your board exams right you have to cover 
the study about these two oil seeds that is one is groundnut and the other is mustard okay so you can see here first of all the groundnut okay now groundnut as we call in hindi moongfali many times it is also in uh, several times it is called as peanut or monkey nut also at several places now it is basically grown an area where the temperature range is uh, almost between 20 to 28 or maximum 30 right that is the um, range of temperature which is required for this crop and basically groundnut is grown in the areas where comparatively rainfall is less it should not go very high and moreover the rainfall should be less and the the soil should be light so that the water which is there which is received by rainfall that should go down easily that should seep down easily it should not remain on the surface otherwise it is going to harm the crop so the rainfall the range within which the rainfall should be there which is ideal for the growth of gro groundnut is actually between 50 centimeter to almost 100 centimeter rainfall should be there okay next is it grows well in a tropical climate basically if you see the temperature range can be 20 to 28 30 32 at the most right so that is actually the temperature condition which we find in tropical conditions right tropical climatic conditions and that is why it is grown during um, you can say the summers right and especially when it is grown it should be kept in mind suppose when it uh, beginning of the winters it is harvested right the reason for that is it is highly susceptible to frost whenever frost condition is there it will destroy all the production so it has to be kept safe from the frost conditions and this is the reason it is grown in such a way that it is harvested before the start of the winters one more thing is there that is whenever the rainfall suppose the uh, both the conditions drought condition okay a long drought condition or you can say uh, suppose no rainfall is there for a long time dry spell that is again harmful for it moreover if water is too much suppose heavy rainfall has been there and water has uh, actually um, water is there in the field for long time so that again harms the crop so both ways we have to be very careful that uh, such a season we should choose th which uh, in which uh, the rainfall is neither it is so heavy nor it is you can say it's uh, totally without any rainfall so this is the condition climatic condition basically required for groundnut now when we talk about the soil i was telling you just now in the earlier part that always it needs a dry sandy soil or the light soil you can say so that if the water is falling over that suppose by the rainfall the water has come over the soil it seeps down easily when it will remain on the soil that will harm the crop the reason being within the soil only the seeds of the groundnut they ripe so this is actually one condition for the groundnuts so as i have said just now that for the groundnut plant actually uh, the condition for the soil is it should be dry it should be sandy generally sandy soil or the coarser particles of the soil is better for the for growing groundnuts okay that is why this is the reason it is mostly concentrated towards you can see here in the map maximum production is coming from gujarat or uh, the different parts of peninsular india okay so regarding the soil i said just now that it needs a dry sandy and light soil and uh, so that the main condition is what you know when the rainfall occurs it should seep down easily and uh, whenever the water remains on the soil just now i have said in the earlier part it is going to harm the seeds right the groundnut the uh, the the seeds will be harmed by that because th these 
groundnut seeds actually get ripened in that soil only okay so that is very very essential to keep in mind that these conditions are fulfilled and which are the areas where all these conditions are fulfilled for that purpose if you see all these things are totally uh, ideal in in uh, you can say ideal conditions are found in gujarat maximum part of gujarat then maharashtra telangana karnataka andhra right and uh, tamil nadu these are the most important states leading states are especially gujarat is number one state and andhra tamil nadu these are the leading states for it okay to some extent it is also produced in uh, uttar pradesh punjab rajasthan and all so what are the main things we have to keep in mind number one is it has to be kept safe from the frost conditions okay it should be always there in mind that le very less rainfall or too much of rainfall both things are going to harm the crop temperature should be between 20 to 28 degree almost right around uh, 20 to 28 degrees within this range if the temperature condition exists that is suitable for the growth of groundnut moreover the rainfall rainfall should not be very heavy rainfall area that is 50 cm to 100 cm rainfall is sufficient for this crop now what are the main uses of this groundnut this is an uh, oil seed as we have discussed in the very beginning so what are the main uses first of all the most important use of it is the extraction of oil okay and this groundnut the the seed of groundnut is actually having 42% of the oil within it and it is used for especially manufacturing of hydrogenated oils right then margarine then you can say medical emulsions soap etc and it is also in certain places it is used as a cooking medium also and besides all these things as we had discussed in the earlier part oil cake again oil cake of groundnut also is used as an important fodder for the cattle as an important feed for the cattle so this is uh, about the uses of groundnut now groundnut can be basically of two types okay number one is called runner type and the other one is called bunch type right runner type basically it remains along the soil okay just like creepers are there na? just like that it grows along the soil but if you see the bunch type bunch type grows just like a small plant and it it is never lying on the ground it stands like a plant normal plant so in this way we can categorize the two types of groundnuts this is one of the important cash crops what we have what we grow in india and regarding the world the position in world um India again uh, stands on the second position regarding the groundnut production okay china being at the first place india is second highest producer in the world and if you talk about the total uh, cropped area which is under the groundnut cultivation so it is just 3.6% of the total agricultural area which is used for the uh, growing different type of crops out of total 3.6% of the total area is under the cultivation of groundnuts now the next crop we have to discuss is about the mustard seed the again it is one of the important oil seeds which is grown in india now mustard mustard sarso okay now as we all know it very well that this is an edible oil right uh, the oil of uh, mustard seed is used for edible purpose and uh, in many areas it is used as an important cooking medium also clear and for the mustard seed especially what conditions are required let's first have a look of it first the most important thing is that mustard seed actually needs a cool temperature condition okay so uh, the temp the range within which the temperature should remain 
during the the growing season growing period of uh, the mustard seed it should be between 10 to 20 degrees centigrade the temperature should not go very low neither it should go higher than almost 24 degree right that is the most ideal uh, temperature condition for the growth of mustard seed next thing is that the rainfall rainfall required for this particular crop is very less when the rainfall is 25 to 40 cm just this much less than 50 cm of rainfall is required actually for the mustard seed wherever rainfall is uh, very less even less than that right there and uh, during its growing period if the rainfall is not there suppose in certain areas to some extent the irrigation facility is provided okay the irrigation is provided there and uh, it it needs very less water and uh, as you all know children if this is a rabi crop okay it is it is in maximum part wherever it is grown it is grown as a pure rabi crop right and many times you will find it is grown in such a way that it is grown along with any other main crop okay mixed with some other main crop like you can say wheat gram barley these are the crops along which actually along with that main crop this mustard seed is also grown the reason being actually this crop grow um, actually it it gets ripened earlier than the main crop so it is harvested before that so from the same land okay from the same field we are getting two crops at a time so this is how it is done in in a mac, you, you will find in maximum part wherever it is grown it is most of the time you will find that it is grown along with some other main crop so this is one important thing about it now besides this what type of soil is required uh, for this the cultivation of mustard seeds the soil should be loamy soil okay but a little you know uh, a heavier soil is better for the the growing of mustard seeds the main uses already we have discussed it is crushed to get an edible oil and especially in the northern india as compared to southern india the peninsular region in the northern india maximum part of the northern india you will find it is used as a cooking medium right and the oil cake of mustard seed okay is an important cattle feed again so that these two are the main uses of it okay and it is at several places you know uh, uh, several times you'll find when it is not used as a as a um, cattle feed it is also used as a manure very important manure so these are the main uses which are the leading states now for the mustard seed the most important or you can say the leading states are you can see the, in the in the map all these which are shown by yellow color right because of such conditions you can see here the temperature so during winter season it is grown and especially the rainfall conditions are such that it is grown maximum towards the rajasthan side uh, see children you have to relate all these things because the rainfall condition is such that nowhere else you will find so less rainfall is received and that's why this is a big reason maximum Uh, production of mustard is coming from rajasthan rajasthan and a part of punjab and haryana right drier parts especially where you will find the arid conditions are there arid or semi arid conditions a major part of madhya pradesh uttar pradesh these are the areas these are the states which are providing the maximum production of it rajasthan being the leading producer of it